The cap production measurement system or CPM or payload now includes the option for grapples. Overall, the CPM for grapples works just the same as standard CPM for buckets. However, there are a few new options in the payload menu that you need to be aware of when running grapples. So overall, it's all the same as standard payload. We're going to go into the payload menu and turn the weighing mode on. So now that weighing mode's on, most of the menu settings are going to be very familiar and the same as standard payload. You're going to be able to select a target payload. So whatever you can load in the truck, you can put that weight right here. You can select different types of trucks. So if you have different trucks saved and you know the different weights of each truck, you can have them stored in here. And you can also select different material densities as well. However, with grapples, there are two new options are dump border swing angle and dump border for distance. So these two settings are new and they're required for grapples. Usually in a grapple application, there's a lot of sorting that needs to be done on the pile before you go over and load the truck. And we don't want every time that you're going into the pile, opening and closing the grapple, swinging, we don't want all that sorting to calculate as a weight in the truck each time. We want to be able to sort and then go over to the truck and once the machine is over the truck or near the truck, that's when we want to actually count the weight. So we're going to kind of go over these two settings and kind of show a couple examples on how these two settings work. So the first option to talk about on the new payload for grapples is the dump border swing angle. So if we go into this menu, there's going to be a swing left angle and a swing right angle. And what this are is the zone of where the actual truck is. So if we go over to the truck and we go to kind of the left side of the truck, put our swing in line with the left side of the truck, we can set the left swing angle. And you can see that's on at minus 132 degrees. Now we're going to go over to the right side of the truck. And we're going to set our right swing angle. Which in this case, it's about minus 54 degrees. So what this means is any time that we come into that zone between the left and the right angle, kind of where the trailer of this truck in this example is, that is when the payload system is going to weigh the object and store it to that truck. So if I come back over here and just pick up a block, and get that in the air, as you can see, the payload system is weighing that block around 1.5 tons. But if you notice, it's not actually putting it in the truck. So if I drop this block back on the ground and kind of act like I'm sorting material, you can see that the grapple weight goes back to zero. And even though I kind of moved some objects around, it didn't actually put that weight into the truck. So now if I go back and grab that block again, like I just got done sorting material, I pick that up and I start swinging towards the truck as I get close to the right side of the truck, I am now entering the right swing angle that we set earlier. And as you can see, both the truck and the grapple have now have turned green. So that kind of indicates that the, the payload system has now stored that weight of that block to this truck. So now if I go set this block down on the truck, and go back to where I was loading material, that 1.6 tons is now stored on the truck and in the truck. And the grapple indicated that the last load was 1.57. So now if I go pick up another block here, now the grapple is gonna weigh this new block, which is around kind of similar weight, 1.5 about 1.5 tons. And so if I would bring this block over to the truck and get past that right swing angle, that's when that 1.5 tons would be added to this 1.6 tons to get a new total around three tons. Now for the swing angle there, we set two swing angles. Now, if your truck is always on your left side and you're always gonna swing left to load the truck, you really only need to set that right swing angle. If you're swinging both left and right, go in both directions to get back to the truck, that's kind of when you want to set both. But in most cases, you're really only going to set one angle because you're usually always going to load your trucks on probably the same side of the machine at all times. 
So the next option on the new grapple payload menu is the dump forward distance. So in some cases, you might have the material in front of you or between you and the truck, and the swing angles really don't work for this certain situation. So kind of like the example set up, we got the block in between the excavator and the truck. So what we can do is take our grapple, go over towards the truck, and kind of get to the front edge of the truck. So once we're at that front edge of the truck, we can go into our payload menu and go into the forward distance and turn that on. And the machine knows that the stick pin is 8.36 meters out. So now, since this is on, I can come back, and grab this block. So once I get in the air, the grapple is weighing this block around 1.4 tons. But as you can see, it hasn't included in the truck yet, and both the truck and the grapple are not green. So now as I stick out towards the truck, once I get past that eight meters that we set earlier, as you can see, the truck and the grapple now have turned green, so now the block is officially weighed at 1.45 tons. So once I get this turned and set out the truck, Now that 1.45 tons is round up to 1.5 tons stored on that truck. Now I can go back and get another block or more material to put on that truck and that would add it to the total weight on that truck. So you have the option to do the angle, you have the option to do the forward distance, and you also have the option to do both. Um, there's probably not a lot of situations where you would have to do both, but you can turn both the angle and the forward distance on if needed.